Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-algebra lecture. Um, in this lecture, we're going to start looking at module 6, which is on percent. And this section is an introduction to percent. And we'll also talk about um, converting from different forms, like percent to fraction, fraction to percent, percent to decimal, and so on. Okay, so let me begin by defining what percent means. Percent really just means per hundred, right? So let me write that down here. So percent means per hundred. Or the other way to think about that is it means divide by 100. So, or divided by 100. So, for instance, if I have, say, 45%, this really means 45 divided by 100. It's that particular ratio, right? It's that fraction. It's always per 100, so divided by 100. A quarter of a percent means a quarter divided by 100, right? And of course, you could simplify this. Remember how to divide fractions? If I have 1 over 4 divided by, I can think of 100 as 100 over 1. So the dividend stays the same, and I multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. So this is going to be 1 over 400. So 1 fourth percent, a quarter of a percent, is the same as 1 over 400. Okay, so that's all a percent means, per 100. Now often you have to change um, between different forms. For instance, if we want to change, let's talk about first going from a percent to a fraction. How do I convert a number that's written as a percent into a fraction? Well, we're kind of doing that already, right? But let me um, give you the, the steps here, and we'll do some more examples. So changing a percent to a fraction. So I wanna write it in fraction notation. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, basically, I drop the percent sign, so you get rid of the percent sign, remove it. And, I, and just like I've been doing above, and I place the number over 100. So place the number over 100, because again, it means per 100. And then you should really simplify. I didn't simplify some of those fractions above, but you really should simplify the fraction at the end. So let's say simplify. Okay, so here's an example. Let's say we want to change, or I'll say, um, convert to a fraction. And I give you 44% to start with. Okay, so remember, this really means 44 divided by 100. So I put it over 100. I remove the percent symbol. I don't need that anymore. And then simplify this. Well, it turns out that four goes into both, right? You can think of 44 as 11 times four and 100 as 25 times four. So four goes into both. I can cancel a factor of four or four, and this is the same as 11 25ths. So 44% as a fraction is 11 25ths. Okay, what if I have um, 110%? So again, I want to convert that into a fraction. Well, this means, right, this means 110 over 100, right? You always put it over 100. I remove the percent a symbol. And then if you simplify this, you can take out a factor of 10 over 10. So this is just going to be 11 tenths. And that's the answer. Or if you want it in 
um, mixed number form, I could divide this and this is going to be one and one tenth. Right? You can either leave it in improper fraction form or mixed number form. Okay, how about this? What if I give you a percent that's a mixed number percent? So let's say I give you two and a half percent. I want to write that as a fraction. Well, what I would do first is rewrite the mixed number as an improper fraction. So two times two is four plus one is five. So this is five over two, right, percent. And then to convert into a fraction, I remove the percent symbol and I put my value, which is five halves, over 100. Okay, think of it if you want as 100 over one. So now to divide those fractions, I have five halves times the reciprocal, right? One over 100. We can simplify a little bit. Five goes into five once. Five goes into 100, what, 20 times? So I have one times one is one in the numerator and denominator is two times 20, which is 40. So two and a half percent is really equal to one fortieth as a fraction. Okay, so that's going from percent to a fraction. What about changing a percent to a decimal? So how do I change a percent to a decimal? Basically, you drop the percent sign again, so remove it, and then you move the decimal point two places to the left. Remember, removing the, moving the decimal point two places to the left is equivalent to dividing by 100, and when we talk about percent, right, we're just dividing by 100, it's per 100. So drop the percent sign and move the decimal point uh, two places to the left. And I'll write remind you, this really means you are just dividing by 100, right? This is equivalent to dividing by 100. So this is equivalent to dividing by 100. By the way, that is another way you could do this, right? You could convert your percent to a fraction and then convert from fraction to a decimal by dividing, right? It's the same exact thing. It's just quicker to move the decimal point. So for example, let's say we wanna convert um, to a decimal. So I give you, let's start with 25%. How do I convert that to a decimal? Well, I can remove the percent sign. And then remember, since this is a whole number, 25 is a whole number, the decimal point is originally right there at the end, right all the way to the right. So then I move that decimal point two places to the left. So let me actually remove the decimal, remove the percent sign and then move the decimal point two places to the left, right? So this is gonna be equal to point to five. Again, if you don't like doing it that way, the other way you could do it is convert it into a fraction. So we re remove the percent sign, put it over 100. Simplify, so this 25 goes into 25 once, 25 goes into 100 four times. And then to convert that fraction now into a um, decimal, just divide it out, right? So one divided by four. So four goes into 10 twice, this is gonna give me eight. I subtract, bring down the next digit. Four goes into 20 five times. Five times four is 20, and I have zero there. So this is also equal to 0.25. Either way, but you're gonna find it's much quicker just to move that decimal point, right? Two places to the left, because that's the equivalent to dividing by 100. 
So if I give you, you know, 9% and I want you to write it as a decimal, well, start with the nine, remove the percent sign, and then move the decimal point two places to the left, so I have to add a zero there. So this is gonna be 0 0.09. You can always put a zero in front, right? That's not gonna change anything. So 0 0.09. What about 0.2%, right? So that's a very small number. Same thing, right? I drop the percent symbol and I move the decimal point two places to the left, so I need to add another zero there. So this is the same as 0 0.002. Okay, what if you have a mixed number? So what if I give you um, two and four fifths percent? And we wanna convert it to a decimal. So first thing I would do is convert my mixed number into an improper fraction, right? So five times two is 10 plus four is 14 over five. So this is the same as 14 fifths percent. And then we need to really write that as a decimal to begin with. So I need to divide this 14 divided by five. So let's see, five goes into 14 twice. Two times five is 10. Subtract, bring down the next digit. Five goes into 48 times, right? And then bring your zero. So this is 2.8%. And then I do what I normally would do, right? I remove the percent sign, right? That symbol's gone. And I move that decimal point two places to the left, which means I have to add a zero there. So this is really equal to 0 0.028 as a decimal. 0 0.028. What about a very large percentage, 420%? Same thing, right? Remove the um, percent symbol. So I just have 420, and then I simply move that decimal point two places to the left. So really this is equal to 4.20. Or you could even say 4.2 if you want. So it's a number greater than one, right? Because it's uh, it's over 100% is exactly equal to one, right? Actually, that's a good thing to point out, right? 100%, what is that as a decimal? Well, it's 100, I have to move the decimal two places, so that's equal to one, or you could say 1.00. Okay, what about going the other way, changing a decimal value to a percent? Okay, so now you basically move the decimal point two places to the right and you insert a percent sign. Okay, so I'll say um, move the decimal point two places. So now I'm doing the opposite, right? Now I'm moving it two places to the right. And by the way, this is equivalent to multiplying by 100. So it's the same as multiplying by 100. And then I simply insert a percent sign. Okay, so for example, let's say you start with a number in decimal form, 0.37. I want to write that as a percent. Okay, so I move the decimal point two places to the right, which is really the same as multiplying by 100, and then I put a percent sign there. So this is going to be 37%. Okay, so that's the rule in general. You multiply by 100 and put in a percent symbol. 
if I give you 0 0.05, what is that as a percent? Well, I have 0 0.05. I have to move the decimal point two places. So it's going to be five and I put a percent sign in there. If you started with 1.07, right, as your decimal number, what's that as a percent? Well, again, I have to move that decimal point two places to the right, right? Just multiply by 100 means move that decimal point two places to the right and then add a percent sign. Um, what if I started with nine? So you can think of as nine as nine point, right? I need to move it two places to the right, so now I need to add two zeros and I add a percent sign. So nine is equivalent to 900%. Okay, so if you're going from decimal to percent, you move the decimal point two places to the right, you're multiplying by 100. If you're going from percent to decimal, you move the decimal point two places to the left, right? You're dividing by 100. So decimal to percent, you move it to the right, percent to decimal, you move it to the left. Actually, one of my one of my colleagues had a good way to remember this, a mnemonic for this, right? Remember, here, I'll write it out. Remember the order of D, so D means like decimal, and P in the alphabet. P stands for percent, right, in the alphabet. Well, of course we know that D comes before P, right? So if I want to convert from D to P, decimal to percent, I move to the right, right, two places. If I want to go, if I start with percent, I want to go to decimal, I have to go to the left, two places. Okay, it just helps you remember which way you go. So from decimal to percent, you have to multiply by 100, right? Move two places to the right. If I go from percent to decimal, I need to divide by 100 or move two places to the left, right? So, so that helps you figure out which way you move the decimal point. So D, write D first and then P, right? That's how it would go in the alphabet. Okay, what if we want to change um, a fraction to a percent? Let's talk about that. So basically, you multiply by, whenever you want to go to a percent, you multiply by 100 and you add the percent sign, right? If you had a decimal number, multiplying by 100 was equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the right. But if I have a fraction now, I literally have to multiply by 100, simplify, and then add a percent sign. So I'll write this as multiply by 100. Simplify, then add a percent sign. Okay, so for example, Let's say I give you one half. What is that as a percentage? What is one half as a percentage? Well, remember the rule is I multiply by 100. You can think of it as 100 is 100 over 1. We can simplify this, right? We know 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 100 50 times. So 1 times 50 is 50. 1 times 1 is 1. So this is going to be 50. And then I put the percent sign there. So 1 half, that fraction, is exactly equal to 50%. Okay, what if I have 1 50th? What is that as a percent? So I take the fraction, I multiply by 100. 
Well, this is going to simplify to 2, right? So this is going to be 2 over 1, which is 2. And then I add the percent sign. So 1 50th is 2%. Okay. What if I have like something that doesn't come out nice, like say 2 ninths? What is that as a percent? Well, I do the same thing, right? 2 ninths times 100 over 1. Here, I can't really simplify anything, so I'm going to multiply my numerators. 2 times 100 is 200. And multiply denominators. 9 times 1 is 9. And then you put a percent sign. Although, again, now here, it depends on how you want to write the final answer. As a, as a improper fraction, right? As percent, that's fine. 200 ninths. Or if you wanted to write it as a mixed number percent, then I'd have to divide this, right? So if I divided... 200 divided by 9. This goes in twice. Then it's going to be 18 to bring down the 0 here. And then 9 goes into 20 twice again. 18 remainders 2. So this is equal to 22 and 2 ninths. So I could also write this as 22 and 2 ninths percent. And that would be fine. What is um, what is this mixed number as a percent? Let's say I give you two and three fifths. Okay, I want to write it as a percent. So again, first thing you want to do is convert it into a mix, a um, improper fraction, right? So it's mixed. We want to go to improper. So five times two is ten plus three is thirteen. So this is really thirteen fifths. Okay, how do I convert a fraction into a percent? I multiply by 100. You can think of it as 100 over 1. Simplify. If we can, in this case we can. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 100, what, 20 times? Then multiply. 13 times 20 is going to be 260. And then 1 times 1 is 1. So this is 260, and then I add the percent sign. So really all you're doing is you're multiplying by 100 and adding the percent sign. Really, that's equivalent. That's really what, what we're doing here. Okay, let's do a couple of questions from My Open Math. So you're given a fraction, right, 4 fifths, and we want to convert it to a percent. It's equivalent to what percent? Well, remember, how do we go from fraction to percent? We simply multiply by 100. Simplify, but we can simplify first here. So this is what? Uh, 5 goes into 5, 1. 5 goes into 100, 20 times. So 4 times 20 is 80. 1 times 1 is 1. So this is going to be 80. And then we put the percent sign there. So this is really just 80%. Okay, here's another one. The fraction 1 20th is equivalent to what percent? So again, I start with 1 20th. I want to convert to a percent, so I have to multiply by 100. I can simplify this, right? This is going to be um, 1, and this is going to be 5. So 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1, 5 divided by 1 is 5, and then I put the percent uh, sign there. So 1 20th is equivalent to 5%. Okay, we'll look at just a couple more questions for this section. So this question says the decimal 0.7 is equivalent to what percent? So again, it's you're really just multiplying by 100, right? You're taking your number, multiplying by 100, and then adding a percent sign. But multiplying by 100 is the same as moving a decimal point two places to the right. So this is going to be 70%. Right, remember... If you have a decimal, the easier way to think about it is you're just moving that decimal point two places to the right and then adding a percent sign because that's equivalent to multiplying by 100. Okay, and then finally, now we're given a percent, 14%, and we want to write it back as a decimal value. So remember, that's equivalent to dividing by 100, right? But the quick way of doing it is I remove the percent sign so I have 14. Remember, the decimal initially is right at the end. And then dividing by 100 is equivalent to moving that decimal point two places to the left. 
So this is going to be 0.14. So 0.14 would be as a decimal value. The other way, remember, the other way you could do this is you could first convert this into a fraction. So what would 14% be as a fraction? Well, it's simply going to be 14 over 100, right? You divide by 100, so put it over 100. And then simplify. So it looks like 2 will go into 14 7 times, and 2 will go into 100 50 times, right? So that's as a fraction. And then if we wanted to go to a percent, we could divide this, right? I could do 7 divided by 50. So 50 goes into 70 once. I subtract, so I have 20. I bring down the next digit, 0. And then 50 goes into 200 four times. And then my remainder is going to be 0. So again, this is going to be 0.14, right? But it's easiest just to move that decimal point two places to the left, right? And that'll be your answer. OK, great. So that's it for. Um, an introduction to percents. The next section, we will talk about solving uh, percent problems. Okay, we'll solve them by translating them into equations, and then we'll also solve them by setting them up as proportional problems, proportion problems. Great, thanks.